Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Colasso here today, guys. And today I'm bringing you a pretty fun treat that you can play on ladder. Now, I don't play a lot of standard, but when I do, I play some very fun decks. And I saw this deck kind of bouncing around all over the place. And uh, I've seen a few versions of it, but I really like my version of it. And this is this is my Teferi Gets Kraken list. This is not the blue-red Prowless list that you guys have all seen that's kind of going around right now. Uh, this deck is a deck that wins with Teferi, Stolich, and Ominous Seas. It's a lot of card draw, so I'm going to show you guys the list, and hopefully you guys like it. Uh, we're running four of everything besides uh, Teferi's Age's Insight, Sublime Epiphany, and Into the Story. We're running two copies of each of those, so keep that in mind. So starting out with our one drops, running four ops, of course. Got to run opt in a, in a draw or in a draw deck, but you really got to run it in literally any blue deck. Running four Frantic Inventories. Not cards you see a lot on ladder, but really good for us because we can discard it, which is fine. Um, and we have a few ways to discard. We got Ominous Seas, which is our win con. We got Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Blitz is great because um, this card is going to hit for like five, six, like really quick. Cause you're going to dump a lot of stuff into your graveyard. So like this card hits for a lot of damage pretty early on in the game. And it's good even in the late game. We got Fire Prophecy. I like this card a lot. I was originally thinking about running like Scorch and Dragonfire in this spot, but I w didn't, and I came across Fire Prophecy, forgot all about this card, came across Fire Prophecy, I was like, wait, this card's going to work great in this list, right? We can deal with three damage some, throw it in the graveyard, we don't care about exile in it, because in this deck we're just milling anyway, so everything's going to their graveyard, and then on top of that we can get card draw, which is awesome for this list, because it triggers, you know, both your uh, Teferi Stolage and your Ominous Seas. We got four throw possibilities, some more card draw. We got Teferi's Stoolage, our mill win con. We got two Teferi's Ageless Insight. This card's great. Granted, you can only have one on board at a time because it's a legendary enchantment. Um, you, you don't have to run two. You don't have to run any if you really don't want. You want more card draw or you want to throw in like some like Iron Craig Pyromancer. It's pretty good. Um, you don't have to run this card. It's, it, it is extra, but if you do get one on board, it's game. Like always. We got four Storms Wrath. This card's awesome. This is our board clear. We need this like every game at least once to clear some boards. Uh, great against aggro. You know, it's okay against mid range. Really hard against the ramp decks because it doesn't kill a lot of stuff. But it is pretty good against most decks. We got two Subline Epiphanies. This card's great because sometimes if I'm playing against like a control matchup and we're just milling them, milling them, milling them, milling them, he's not going to expect me to have like one counter spell in the deck. And then on top of that, we can make a copy of our, our Kraken. We can, you know, bounce something. We can draw a card. It gives us uh, many, many options. So we're running two of them. And then last but not least, we're running two into the story. This card says seven mana. It's really four mana. You're never going to play this for seven mana. Every time you have it, it's almost going to be four mana unless you get it with your like your opening hand. Um, really, really good card. Um, awesome in this list, you know. That's four triggers on Tutelage and four counters on Ominous Sea. So, there's the list. Uh, running, um, what, 22 lands here? So, yeah, uh, you draw a lot of land. You draw a lot, so you don't need 24 lands. We're running four Steam Vents and some Islands and Mountains. All right, let's hop into it. Hopefully, the deck plays well today. Yeah, I did pretty well with it last night. I'm going to warn you guys before we get to the game that this new board makes my face look super pale when it comes up. So if my face looks pale, I'm sorry. Pale as in like red. Because all this like reddish tint. Hmm. Okay. This hand's fine. I kept it without saying anything, but it's a good hand. We got tutelage, triple removal. Perfect. Blue green could be a problem. This is one deck I do worry about. Um, oh my god, we got an Ageless Insight. Let's get it. I don't want to let them know we're playing blue yet. We can keep the... I'm just going to Fire Prophecy hit this now. I'm going to toss back a uh, Blitz because I want to find some... Um, I want to find some Draw. Another Tutelage. Interesting. Alright, yeah, uh, we'll discard a land. Going for two. Yeah, it's just it's just blue green blue green ramp stuff. Blue green good stuff. This deck's really popular right now. It's one of the better decks in the format, so it's to be expected. Um Oh wow, he didn't play nothing. I hope he doesn't counter this. I'm gonna go I'm gonna try to go at Fer to Fairy's Ageless Insight. Oh, he could be playing blue green. No, he's not playing flash, I'm sorry. I was gonna say blue green flash, but that's not what he's playing at all. So, I mean, we got the combo. We got Tutelage and uh, Ageless Insight out. I just need to find some card draw. 
which is kind of weird since we're playing a card draw deck, so. I mean, granted, you know what we could do just for card draw? Go to Fairy Stoolage, discard my mountain, and just find something good. I don't want to get rid of Blitz, my only removal currently. Doesn't even hit for a lot, just hits for one. Uh-oh. Hmm. Final, a Devastation for two. What is he gonna get? What are you gonna get, Sea Bear? Paradise Shrewd. Wow, just found some Paradise Shrewd to, uh. You know what we're gonna do here? I'm gonna go Tutelage, play Thrill, discard my Blitz. I think that's the play. Actually. Am I gonna play a third to Fairy Stoolage? How fast can I mill him out? That's the question. Actually, yeah, let's get rid of our Blitz. I can play Ominous Seas too. I'm going to. Wow, dude. Board's looking stacked. Stacked. He's off to a slow start. Even if he gains life, we don't care. We just have to. We just have to outlive the slaughter. I did get rid of the Blitz because I can't hit the Paradise Root anyway, so it doesn't matter. I have 29 cards in this list. Third Tootle Lynch? <laughs> oh my god, this guy might concede. Oh, get rid of Frantic? Perfect. <laughs> Good game, my friend. This guy's not winning. No way. I'm gonna go ahead and play throw on his turn and discard my other throw. Let's see what's in his deck. Gargos is pretty good. Some ram throughs. Hydroid crisis. Uh, Nissa shakes the world. I hate that card. This card's broke back. Great Henge is awesome. I love this card. One of my favorite cards in green. I hate Nissa though. Elder is... Uh, I like this card. 5 mana, 6-6 six, six, that does a lot of stuff. Seems good to me. Alright, his deck seems fun. Blue Ancient, sure. We're gonna play Thrill. Discard my other Thrill. Draw a lot. Trigger to Fairy Stolage. A bunch. <laughs> I'm gonna take the game. Well, that's the deck. It's fun. We milled him out extra fast. And we win. All right, so that's the deck. Um played very good. Our opponent was playing extra slow, which worked great for us. Um, and we just got lucky that we found Tutelage on time when we needed it. So, uh, great. We got we got pretty lucky. Our opponent wasn't playing a lot of creatures. So, got pretty lucky there. But that was a fun game. Three Tutelages. That's awesome. That's awesome. Plus the Ageless Insight. Oh, man, dude. I got to be human. I gotta be fuming. I told you, once you get one in insight on board, I mean, that extra card draws a lot. That's, you know, that's that's more mill. <clears throat> so this hand, this hand looks bad and good at the same time. Right? If I draw one land, I guess I have Thrill. I can discard a Storm's Wrath. Okay, this is fine. We'll keep it. I, sometimes these hands are worrisome because I don't have any one or two mana plays. Like, I have two mana to play Thrill, but that's not an ideal two mana play. But, okay, there we go. There we go. So, but we have the double Storm's Wrath, and I, I I almost always like to keep Storm's Wrath in my opening hand because I never know what I'm going to play. So, like, for instance, it looks like we're playing, like, White Life game. Like, Storm's Wrath is awesome here. That, so, that Pride Mate's going to get big, though. I need to find removal for it for, like... We're going to Storm's Wrath next turn and kill it. Magenta, Passion Order. I wonder if he's just playing mono white. Is he playing white black? That's the real question. 
Oh my god, this, this is gonna be a great Storm's Wrath, baby! Awesome Storm's Wrath we're about to have here. Well, this is why I want to keep my opening hand. He's got eight cards already. This into the story already hits for four. Alright, so our opponent's getting unlucky on land, which is good, because he had a pretty aggressive start. We're gonna get Ageless Insight on board, because he's not doing much. He can still keep up with me, though, because I'm not playing creatures. He's milling all his lands. I'm gonna play into the story. That's gonna be a lot of village triggers. A lot of village triggers here. The deck looks pretty good. How many uh, Johnny's probably in his graveyard? One, two. Is three primates in his graveyard? There are some cards I'm worried of. Sometimes the uh, big creatures can be a little harder to kill. I have a frantic inventory to throw in my graveyard. No. Just get rid of all lands. Oh, you know, maybe I should have kept one land to keep up subline epiphany. I feel like he's um. I can almost guarantee you if I storm wrath here, he's gonna concede. Oh my god, you know it's even gonna be better? I'm not gonna Storm's Wrath. I'm gonna keep up Subline Epiphany. He's gonna play a land. He's gonna play a land, play a creature. I'm gonna counter it and bounce his Daxos. Oh my god, I knew it. That's, that's, yeah. I knew it. I knew that was gonna send him, bro. I knew it. Alright, sweet. So we made it to uh, Silver Tier 2. So, yeah, that's why I kept that sub. That's why I have Subline Epiphany in here. So it's just it's just come win you games, man. Doing multiple things at once is is big. Sweet. So, we got two games in. Who now? Let's hop into another one. Hopefully, we can get a pretty good game going here. I'm ready. Playing Tot. Yeah, but anyway, so as you guys can see, that's why I, I, I kept that hand because of the, uh, ooh, this hand's bad. This hand's not good either, man. This hand doesn't have a single win con in it. My last one at least had a win con in it, but it was double red with a bunch of ops. Alrighty. I'm gonna just put. I'm actually gonna throw back Subline Epiphany. I'd rather keep the lands. Epiphany is not doing me much here. Uh, yeah, this is a really bad hand. But we're not playing aggro because if we're playing aggro, there's a good chance we could lose this game. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, we find a Storm's Wrath. Yeah, it's not good. I need to find a Storm's Wrath like ASAP. I'm gonna have to. Blitz, just start killing stuff. Um, oh, dude, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, this was the one deck I didn't want to play against. We did not have the hand to play this deck. Even, even like, I need to find a fire prophecy if I can't find anything. Okay, sure. I'm just gonna blitz off the Scorch Spitter. That card's actually super annoying. Please don't buff it within like an Infuriate. That's gonna infuriate me. I bet you he buffs it. I bet you he plays Infuriate. Oh, he didn't, thank god. Alright, I'll take one with the champion. I'd rather get the Scorch Spitter off because that card really hits for two a turn. So, Champion really only hits for one unless he draws into another Champion. 
Or technically another knight, but I doubt he's playing another knight in that list. I need to like finish his. Okay. Omnisies, thank you. We found a win con, boys. I don't have anything else to do in my hand. I can opt. I just have to find some removal. Keep finding me removal or some draw. Either one. I don't want lands. No lands. No whammies, baby. Cavalcade sucks. If he plays Cavalcade, there's a good chance we lose this game. I don't have enchantment removal in here. Cavalcade's really hard to deal with for me. You're gonna opt here. Throw that away, baby. Throw that away. Yes, Fire Prophecy. That's a really good removal piece for us right now. Getting rid of that Runaway Steamkin's gonna be key. Key. With this, I can draw another card, put up Dominus Ease even farther. I really, really hope he's not playing Helvicate in that deck. Then into the sea. I'd rather play this now. Because I want the card draw now, because I could draw something like. I got two mana still. Plus, I don't want him to remove counters off of this. Like, I don't want him to play something and get counters on it, or. Granted, I could play that on this deck. Put a card into my library? Yeah, dude. Um, there's nothing in his graveyard. We'll throw the land back. Give me something good. Woo, that's not that's not too good. I'm drawing a lot of lands right now, man. Please no cavalcade. Please no cavalcade. I gotta find a Storm's Wrath. Watch him get my Storm's Wrath. No Fire Prophecy. That would've been fantastic. Fortunately for me, it doesn't have anything to play it on. Yes! There it is! Bye! Bye! Bought myself some time. Bought myself some time. Thank God he has a Mountain in hand. We hit, what, three creatures with that? Another Ominous Seas? I think I might just... I'm just gonna cycle it. Right now I need land. Oh, not land. I need draw. Anything. There we go. Through. Buy into the story. That card would've been great, but... That's seven or more. Oh, man. We were so close. Is that five? But right now I'm trying to win. I'm trying to get a Kraken on board. Right now I'm playing for the dub. I want one that eight to pop that crack in. Uh, I'm gonna keep the mountain in hand. I don't really need it unless I draw like subline epiphany. Feeling pretty good. I drew another storm's so wrath. Tell you what. Sure, you can punch me for two. I'm gonna beat you down a lot faster with my crack in. Tell you what. I don't need two omnisies. I mean, I do. They're nice, but... Oh, no! I can't attack. I need to keep the blocker for the Bone Crusher Giant. Let's do that deal. So, all red sources deal... Whatever, I'm just gonna Storm's Wrath it, doesn't matter. We're Storm's Wrath in that. If that I can't I can't like just eat shocks for days. Shocks are dealing four damage right now, and that's obsessive. Or not obsessive. Excessive. I don't wanna play it's a fairy's ageless insight though. If I can get one of those on board that could save me, like No, let me play smart, not play dumb. Storm's Wrath, kill his guy, swing for eight. Seemed like the better play. Wow, light up stage sucks. Got a champion and a Rimrock Knight, dude. It's a good game. 
don't know why. All right, sweet. Well, we got it. Nice. That that game was rough, dude. We weren't drawing nothing for draw. I'm like, dude, where's my thrills at? Lucky for us, um, Omnis used SF Cycling, and um, we had to use that to our advantage. And it worked out pretty well. All right, man. Well, this video has been about 20 minutes. Try this deck out, man. It's pretty fun. It doesn't screw you all the time. Um, som sometimes it does. Sometimes you don't draw the right things. Maybe maybe take out one. Maybe we'll go down to 20 lands and, and try to risk it with 20. But that's kind of that seems kind of risky. But yeah, give it a try if you want. Uh, I'm not running. I'm not running no creatures in this deck. So um, if you guys have any suggestions on improvements of the deck, probably taking out Subline Epiphany would be the improvement. But I don't know. I still like it. You could probably run some early game that's better that draws you better things or something. Um, but anyway, let me not dig through this deck now. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Like I said, give me any changes that you would do to the list. And as I said before, the list, uh, the link for it will be down below in the description. But anyways, hope you guys keep on dueling. Have a good one. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.